What's up guys, it is Chris Market Bull here with another video for you guys and today we are going to jump straight into TradingView. Believe it or not, there are still people out there trying to figure out how to use TradingView, how to use the shortcuts and just how to find their way around TradingView. I would have thought that there's enough videos going around on YouTube but obviously not and I don't mind jumping straight into it today. And guys, I'm just gonna go through some of the basics, some of the tools that you might wanna use and tools that I use. And I'm gonna show you how I set up my chart. So very simply for me, I've got some template list, basically some flag list where I basically use color codes for some of the instruments that I use. And then also I've got sub lists where for instance, the stream list, this is the list of um, instruments I trade during our live streams. Then for instance, I've got the standard watch list. This is just a watch list of a lot of instruments that I've thrown in there. And then for instance, I've got the Q2 stock watch list as well. These are stocks that I, well, I was watching during Q2 of this year. So very, very helpful. Let's do another little watch list. Let's create a new watch list. Let's just call this watch list tutorial. Very simple. Let's just, uh, I don't even know if that spelled correctly. The, my dyslexia could have got the better of me there. But anyways, that is a topic for another day. So firstly, let's add gold. A little bit of a staple here in the diet. So right there, tutorial section. You can see here, created list tutorial. Let's add just for DXY, just to look like we really know what we're doing. We're gonna throw DXY in there and there, beautiful, two instruments on my watch list and I can uh, toggle between these two, okay? So now, the second thing, someone has asked, Chris, how do I get this floating little toolbar here? Very, very simple. Come all the way to your left right here and you will actually see that I have some of them starred. And how it works is, look here, Chad, if I go and I unstart, look at the toolbar it is getting smaller and smaller and it's very simple the things that you star will be added right there these are the ones that you use on a regular basis so you can literally just go through all of these toolbars on the left and you can star them if you use them consistently obviously you don't want a big chunk of a floating toolbar here you just want to have the ones that you want to get in quick access those are specifically for when you do your chart analysis, when you run through your breakdowns and you can use them very easily. Next thing, if you wanna go search for a different symbol or you wanna actually compare a symbol, this plus sign right here. Somebody asked me last, uh, a few weeks ago, or actually a couple of days ago on the stream, is the dollar and gold correlated? And I said, test it for yourself. So I said, compare gold with the dollar. And again, I don't want to be sidetracked here, but if I go dollar and I go new price scale, now I've got two charts compared to one another. The orange is gold. Obviously, the uh, candle chart is the dollar. And there you can clearly see they are inversely correlated. So then no guesswork needed here. Use the charts to your advantage. Okay, beautiful. Next one, time frame, very simple. If you wanna change your time frame, you can do that here. You can actually, if you're on the paid version, you can add a custom interval. You can even add a seven and a half minute interval if you wanted to. Uh, but these are the standard ones that we use to try and work our way through the market. And then if you wanna add some indicators, this plus sign here, sorry, not the indicators, very simple. You can search for some of your indicators these are the ones that I have favorited and it's just easy for me if I ever want to come back and add any one of these indicators I've used in the past, I can just click there. Other than that, guys, the other one that I like to do, if you want to use my setting specifically, I use a light gray background. The reason I use that is it's easier on my eyes than the black and also then just pure white. If you spend a lot of time on the charts, you do get some screen fatigue where your eyes really get dry, your eyes really get sore from just concentrating on price. And then also what I do is I remove the horizontal and the vertical grids. How, how do I do that? 
if you click here on this little checkerboard here, thereby opacity, I just put the opacity to zero just to take those grids off. If you like it, you can keep it. Me personally, I don't like it. And then just going through the rest of the settings, you can see it here. Please take some time to take a screenshot now. Symbol, I like to have the bodies in the colors. Obviously, bullish green, bearish red. Borders, I like to have black. Wicks, I like to have black as well. Almost like I like my coffee, strong and black. And that's how I like my candles as well. So, um, all right. Then the rest, pretty standard, not changing too much there. And um, yeah, guys, I think that is enough to get you started. If you've got any more questions, please feel free. Drop a comment in the comment section below and leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace and love, baby.